We are back in the kitchen today and we have classic meatloaf coming at you today. The trick though, what I'm gonna do instead of using a basic meatloaf pan, is we're gonna do it in an eight by eight, so it's a little bit thinner and gonna be perfect for those leftover meatloaf sandwiches. 93% lean ground beef is what we're starting with right here. Use what you have. This is not gonna be near as have the extra fat or anything because it's already lean. We're gonna add in our extra sauce for Chestershire. Can you say that five times fast? Because I can't. We've got some onion, diced onion, minced onion. You can use dried onion if, like for a super shortcut. I like to use that as well too. Some dried thyme. Add in some of those extra flavors. Of course, garlic. And an egg. Gotta have a binder, especially with as lean as this ground beef is, the egg serves as a binder and it allows it to all come together. And then you have this breadcrumbs. This is actually panko breadcrumbs, which adds a little bit more of a little bit of a crisp texture. So from there, you just dig in. The thing of it, whenever that meatloaf comes together, you don't wanna overwork it with your hands. You just wanna get it lightly combined. Overworking it will kind of result in a little bit tougher of a bite. This is one for those that don't mind getting their hands dirty. Get that egg broken up, all the breadcrumbs, all the onion, all the sauce, all together. I'm gonna add in a little bit more of ketchup in there, about a half cup. Add that in again as well. And then from there, we're just gonna go into this pan. So I said, we're using an eight by eight. I've already have it greased. Um, but my thought is, is well, let's save on cooking time. So if we do a little bit flatter of a meatloaf, we'll save on cooking time, which means you might get it to the table faster, which for me is a ticket to success. From there, it's just gonna go in. Just gonna flatten it down. I kind of think you could use it as an on a nine by 13 as well too, for even thinner, if that doesn't bother you at all. Get all these extra bits. And just like that, my hands are dirty. I'm gonna go wash them. This is gonna go into the oven, 350 degrees, and our goal is to reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. Then we'll just dress it with some ketchup and then really serve it and enjoy it. So be back in about 30 to 45 minutes. Been in for 30 minutes, not quite to 160, so we're just gonna put on some basic ketchup. Doesn't have to be fancy, guys. Back in the oven for about 10 more minutes until it's done. Meatloaf is finished. Internal temperature was 160 degrees. How do I know? Use a handy meat thermometer. Now, basically, we're just gonna cut and serve. Just like that, dinner is served, my friends. Come on over. <laughs>